Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend, the brightest heaven of intention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling sea. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the court of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds should famine, sword, and fire. Crouch for employment, but pardon, and gentles all. The flat, unraised spirits that have dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so great an object that this cockpit holds. The vasty fields of France, where we may cram within this wooden, oh, the very casks that did affright the air at Agincourt. Oh, pardon, since a crooked figure may attest little place a million. And let us ciphers to this great accomplice on your imaginary forces work. Suppose within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monarchies, whose high upreared and abuting fronts the perilous narrow oceans parts asunder. Peace out your imperfections with thought into a thousand parts divide on me and make imaginary the science. Think when we talk of forces that you see them. Printing their proud moves, I receiving the earth, for tis your thoughts now must deck our kings. Carry them here, jumping o'er times, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the witch supply. Admit me, chorus to this history, whose prologue, like your humble patience, pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge, our play. <laughs>